Hello everyone, it's your boy Jonathan, and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. Uh, Scarlet and I found our way into the lab, and I met with Allie to tell her about it, and so now we're about to sneak in and try to restore everyone's memories. Uh, Four is an inside man, and he's going to be replacing the security footage with old rolls of something that won't arouse suspicion. I don't know, but I could figure out, you know, they're doing it National Treasure style. Um, let's dive in. You guys have to see this. Trust me. Allie put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase. The four became... Im four became... Intimately and repeatedly familiar with. Oh, yeah, because he fell down the stairs. Did Allie prove Four's trust before? Or after all his... Or after all... Or after his little trip on the stairs? Oh before uh, Jesus whoa you guys found my secret spot already I'm sorry what I found this place this morning I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while it was fun to play in the dark hold me back Jonathan <laughs> Ellie explained the situation as we walked down the stairs sure enough they were skeptical except for Scarlet Okay, your story makes a little more sense when you take us down here. We walk towards the machines in a mixture of awe and fear. The markings on this machine. My father's company made these? Why? They didn't. Not my baby. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish I had to s I wish what I had to say wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, why they film the show over and over, but I know that if we don't escape, and fast, they're going to kill us, sooner or later. Jonathan and I are going to do our best to make sure all of us get out of here alive, but to do that, I need you to trust me. Trust you with what? I need you to trust me enough to step back in your tanks they kept you in. For us to escape, we all need, all of us need to have our memories back. Otherwise, you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish foolish to just step in a tank because someone said so. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling the truth about this machine. Because I built this. Allie? This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. We've gotten to know each other quite a few times by now. It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad that the machine works. Maybe one day we'll put it to use the way it should be. Alright, I'll trust you. We just walk you back into the machine? Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it. Go into it, and then Jonathan and I will start the reversal process. I hope this works. It should. It might hurt a bit. Do spare me from the details. Please. Scarlet and Violet walked into their respective machines. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Jonathan. And besides, I've got a thing for... I've got a big things. I've got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like mecha. I guess. <clears throat> Is this going to hurt? I'm sure it won't hurt that much. I'll take your word for it, Jonathan. All right, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, Jonathan. On it. Even if it was necessary for all of us, their screams from the reversal process were almost more than I could take. Allie and I covered our ears as Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara remembered years of memories in a matter of minutes. After doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara stepped out of their tanks after what must have felt like hours to them. 
Guys, you okay? This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I made a bet with Four about what would happen when they got their memories back. What did you bet? I'm going to watch from a safer distance, if you don't mind. Uh-oh. If looks could kill, the girls had just gotten out of the tanks would have killed me several times over. They ran at me yelling and screaming. You five-timing little cheater. Wait, I can explain. Too late, they were on me like hyenas. <laughs> oh boy. Oops. <clears throat> now that we've all calmed down, how about we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, Jonathan. Out with it then. Alright, listen up. Over the next hour, Allie explained her plan from start to finish. Trust me, it's the best we've got. If this is our plan, we're doomed. <laughs> Congrats, Jonathan. You've made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? I figure it's best to make things seem uncertain as possible, and not to get too focused on any one girl. Kat said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early. If that happened this time, then game over. The only reason they were able to make these moves right now is because Alice's machine glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again. There's no room for error. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, Cat. I like the sound of that. But you know you can... But you know what I like even more? Drama. And what better way to start that fire than a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke. So who's it gonna be? Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really, it's by the, right by the games room, and it's not even not the hidden one. I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks when I saw Cat open it using the black key that she kept on a key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use it time. I've used, seen her use the same key in both the mansion as well as on other buildings. Sounds like it'd be pretty good to get our hands on that. Exactly. If you get me that key, even for a minute, I can make a mold of it and we can use it as a, and we can use, that we can use as a duplicate key. I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. <clears throat> That's awesome, but wouldn't Cat notice if her master key went missing? You're absolutely right, especially if you try to, you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming, but it won't be you or I taking it. Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Let me go get Yui. By the end of tonight, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Trust me, Jonathan. When have I ever been wrong? I could list every single date we'd been on as evidence. Those don't count. Yui. There's something about her, you know? We'll make it happen. It was the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk out in the woods, the same date we had when we truly had met again for the first time. It was a little awkward at first, figuring out how to not give away what we knew on camera, but we figured it out pretty quick. It's so nice to see you again, Jonathan. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's got to be fate, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel like 
or I feel a little like things are going to be, or are going a little over my head. The show, meeting you again, everything, it's, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's just moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like I know it's going to be okay. Would it be okay if we just spend the day, spend today this way? She leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute. What about that master key? Ah, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun bun bun. Mm -hmm. Bun 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 darted out of a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot. Bun Bun Bun. Hunt. Bun 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 leapt out of her arms and then dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how about we walk for a little longer? What just happened? She reached for my hand and then held it tight. I'd like that. We walked and talked for hours. When we took breaths, breaks, we laid next to each other in the grass, talking about anything and everything. Yui is a lovely girl. At times, I remembered how dire the situation we were in, and I couldn't help but freeze up. But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile made me feel lighter than air. A life with her would be wonderful. I've got to make sure to get us all out of here safe. Jonah Thing. Yeah. I love you, Jonah Thing. I hope we can spend another day together, just like this, soon. Me too, Yui. We walked back to the mansion together, hand in hand, then went our separate ways. Jonathan, you would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, cat? I got attacked by some sort of forest monster. It was at least 10 feet tall, had monstrous teeth, and there was at least five of them. It took everything I had not to laugh. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. I made sure that four deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. It's good to know. This is the worst run yet, man. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I've just had a long day. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. Five forest beasts is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, cat. Forest beasts affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Jonathan. Good night, Jonathan. Mission success. I can't believe that worked. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our spatial training last night. I may have made a few contracts with a few devils from the forest, but... I'm sorry, what? I'm half kidding. Don't worry about it. Which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet. Which sucks. It's going to take a little longer for the makeshift plaster to set. Where'd you get plaster from, by the way? Believe me, knowing more about how we got it will make you will not make you any happier as a person. <laughs> I'm cool with not knowing. Anyway, the keys will probably be usable by tomorrow morning, but you'll have to have your next date by then. We'll test them out as soon as that as soon as it's night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Jonathan? Fours disable the audio recordings in the house at night, so we should be able, or, or so we should be good to talk back up there. I'll let them know. 
I walked back up the staircase, back to the mansion. Where are they? Ah, I can hear some sounds in the kitchen. I'll make my way over. Hey, Violet. How are you? Goodness. Apologies, Jonathan. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides to say hundreds of different versions of memory of the same week, I'm worried about the people back home. Yui has her sisters to worry about, though she tries not to burden anyone with that feeling. Everyone has family out there, and who knows what's happened to them in the last, well, however long we've been trapped in here. I have never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, they must be worried sick. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be so happy to see you again. You're right, Jonathan. Though there's no way you could know that for sure, could you? I guess not, but we've got to believe, right? I suppose you're right, once again, Jonathan. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm going to hold them so tight. It's kind of funny. What is, Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was Viola? That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know, the type. She came first in just about everything, while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She... She saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could. And in the end, she was hit before I was. And she died for it. I'm so sorry, Violet. I... Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, for just that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm oversharing, aren't I? I apologize. I... It's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, Jonathan. It's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live up to the standard she set for my parents. You can probably guess how that, or how well that went. I wasn't good at running her the business, or appearing prim and proper, or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really, that the, it's the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make more room for the new baby brother. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times, I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show has developed. This is a nightmare in every regard. Violet. Yes? I held her in my arms tightly. You're an incredible woman, and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put your fear, I've seen you put the fear of God into the Brothers Five, and make delicious meals that some people would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out of, together, and we wouldn't be able to do it without you. You're too kind. Thank you for the... I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remembered anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't. But I'm hoping that the master key we pilfered will help with that. I hope so, for your sake. In the event where it does not provide any answers, my previous offer about finding you help outside of here to get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. It is the least I can do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know? I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise around what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We've talked for a few moments together before retiring for the night. For once, I lay in bed not worrying about get being killed. 
For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here. I... Jonah thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.